Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to broach a keyway. Now a keyway brooch looks like this and you can tell which way it's supposed to cut. So this end should be facing down and basically the elements are you've got the brooch, you've got a guide that goes into the bore of whatever it is you're broaching, and then you're going to have shims so that you don't have to uh, make the cut all in one shot. You're going to push it through a little bit, put a shim in, push it through again, put another shim in, push it through one more time, and depending on uh, on where you end up you might have to put in a really thin shim just to get that last little bit of clearance. Now you also need an arbor press or a hydraulic press in order to do this. Uh, I really prefer doing this on an arbor press because you've got some feedback, you, you can feel what the brooch is doing and you can feel when it's jammed up. But on larger sizes you really don't have much of a choice but to use the hydraulic press. This is a ratcheting arbor press which I find helps an awful lot with this. Uh, you can do it on a standard arbor press, it's just you're probably going to be repositioning things for better leverage. This happens to be a Dake 2.5P, uh, but again, any arbor press should do. And if all you've got is a hydraulic press, uh, that's fine too. It's just you won't really have the feedback in the handle that you would have with this, telling you when that brooch is jamming up. So you really got to watch things. In this case, I'm doing a quarter inch key in this, and this is just a piece of scrap that I bored out for demonstration purposes. So it won't take too much pressure, and my arbor press should be more than capable of doing it. So when you put the brooch in initially, you're going to put it in there and you really need to make sure that it's tight up against the guide right up there. Especially at the very beginning, it'll want to kind of lean forward a little bit and if it does that, it has a tendency to jam up and you could actually break this brooch. Now these come in different sizes. This is a size C which is less likely to break, uh, but of course the smaller sizes like the A and the B, uh, you could snap those pretty easily with just a couple of tons of pressure. The other thing you want to do is use a ton of oil. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of oil you use, just use a ton of it. I just sprayed that all up and down every tooth and now I'm going to bring it down and push it through. So you can see that each tooth took off just a tiny chip, maybe uh, four or five thousandths. The larger size brooches have these little cuts in the teeth that help to stagger the chip. Uh, it kind of acts like a chip breaker um, so that each tooth isn't removing as much material and the one behind it will go ahead and clear out what the other one didn't get. You can also see I've got uh, maybe a third of my keyway done. So let me go ahead and reset the arbor press and I'll put a shim in and we'll do it again. The sets come with these shims and they're little L-shaped things. They hook up on top there and they're labeled for the keyway size. So theoretically after two shims you should have a completed quarter inch keyway. Before each pass I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the brooch, make sure there's no chips on the back side. And I generally uh, make sure that I get all the chips off of the teeth as well so they don't jam up in the cut. Again, tons and tons of oil. So right now, I've got a pretty healthy keyway there. I'm going to take it out and measure it. I did another video where I talked about using digital calipers as calculators, and this is another application of that. Um, this is a quarter inch key so it should be an eighth of an inch deep and if I go ahead and measure my bore here and zero of my digital calipers so now it's zeroed on the bore 
I can then go ahead and directly measure the depth of the keyway, which I'm just about there, 124. Generally, you want a little bit of extra because you want to make sure that that key is going to clear. So I'm going to put in a really thin shim and push it through one more time. So with this thin shim, you can see it starts about halfway down the brooch, so you really don't have to move very much at all. And you still want to use a lot of oil though. And that should be plenty. I'm going to go ahead and make a separate video showing how to find the center of that keyway so that you can drill a set screw hole. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like and the subscribe button down below. And please check out my other videos on machining. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.